When did you buy your first home? 2015. How much? How much was it at that? Three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. How much is it now? Five hundred and ninety thousand dollars. He said it with a smile. And as I didn't pay should. anything. As you should. And, the, and mind you, three hundred and sixty thousand. The mortgage has been paid down for eight years by the tenants. I've been living for free. So that's all. Like once I sell this thing, it's going to be all profit on top of twenty or thirty years of cash flow. Uh, are you getting positive cash flow now? Seventeen hundred a month. Seventeen hundred a month from a place that I live. Yeah, they know you're the landlord. The landlord. Yeah, I'm cool. I, I'm like the coolest landlord. Yeah, like yeah. my, my oh, tenants you live, love you live, me. You live, so, oh, yeah. so, so you. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so like, if I go do something big or something like that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell nobody. But for this kind of stuff, and a lot of people be like, yeah, don't tell. Like, nah, man, get get familiar with your tenants. Get build a relationship with your tenants. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's a good thing. Like, don't. In that way, it's easier for you to have certain conversations without people getting offended or anything. Like, hey, Miss Jones, don't forget, it's the fifth. Make sure you pay your rent tomorrow. I ain't going to charge you a late fee, but make sure you like, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. like you have these relationships and you can like, you know, you watch people, kids grow up and just like all of these different things that I've gotten to learn and see as a landlord, man, it's actually pretty cool to have relationships with my tenants. And I've the main thing for me is, man, you treat people with respect. You provide quality living spaces for people. You don't do slum lord shit. I promise you, your tenants are going to take care of you. Like they're going to take care of you because at the end of the day, this is their home. And it's yours. And it's mine. <laughs> yeah. And with them living here, how many people do you know like to tear up their own shit? It's rare. Of course, you see it sometimes. People live in some pretty fucked up places. But a lot of times in those situations, people don't care because the landlord ain't taking care of the property the way that they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. When you taking care of your stuff, people who have nice stuff, they like to keep it nice. I've never, before I was a landlord, I've never lived somewhere and I just tore the place up or nothing. Like, I like nice shit. So I like to, you know what I mean, take care of it, keep it nice. If I had company, I want my company. Oh, this is nice. Like, yeah, no. that's just common sense, right? That's a fact. So can you refi out of NACA? Hell yeah, boy. Rashad, I'm sitting on so much <laughs> equity right now, right? So in order for me to go get a home equity line of credit and pull money out of a property that I own, you gotta show income. I gotta show income. And please go show income before you start talking about doing BRRRs and all of this kind of stuff. These terms that's all over the internet because at the end of the day, you have to know the terms of doing these things before you go out and do it because yeah, that's your money, but it ain't your money like it's your money in your pocket. You got to go get permission from the bank to access this money. And if you don't have a relationship with the bank and you can't show the bank that you're making money, the bank ain't going to want to hear that shit at all. They're going to be like, boy, this is our money. <laughs> <laughs> we own this. So talk about the, the pair space play because you you're not, you live in the, the, the one unit, but the one with your girlfriend, yeah. you are using pair space. Yeah. How you came in contact with it and what's the play on that? So pair space is something that I found out about when I was rapping. I used to, you know, have videographers or whatever and we just always these dope places but it would just be in the budget and what they charge me for and i'm like bro where you find this at or whatever the case may be and i would hear them talk about peer space but i just never looked into it so one day i was shooting some content at the new house like i said it's five so i just i'm like man it's five i'm gonna shoot all kind of content in this house my guy was like bro you should consider putting this house on peer space you would check a bag Mm. And I'm just like, that's the shit you've been telling me about all these years. He like, fam, I'm going to rent your house. <laughs> he like, I'm finna, he like, I'm finna be calling you and renting your house. So the next day, I went on Pier Space. You know, I went and took me some pictures of the property or whatever. Man, two days later, bookings, 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 video shoots, photo shoots. People want to come and host dinner parties. It's just like. Peer space, and, peer space is a, is a, a vibe, and a lot, a lot of people still don't know about peer space. And it's crazy because the thing is, you can still live there. It's mm -hmm. not like Airbnb; you have to be gone. And and there's different rules. Like Airbnb, a lot of these buildings they don't even allow Airbnb they don't allow it. and stuff like that, and they're cracking down. But like we found out about Air, peer space when we went to um, we got the show Revolt. Eyes is over liability. Shout out to Revolt. So when we we do like offset locations where we film with different stuff. So we we were in L. A. And we were filming in LA at this um, house on the hills. And um, actually, was it Atlanta? Atlanta. We were in Atlanta, yeah. LA too, but Atlanta, we was filming an episode. And um, the lady who actually owned the house, mm -hmm. she found out that we was filming there. So she stayed because she was a big fan of Evil yeah. Yeah, yeah. So she wanted to introduce herself. So then she started giving us the play, like, yeah, you know, I rent this out, the Pier Space. So then we went to LA and then we, they Revolt rented a spot there. So we, we was talking to like the production team and all that. And they like, yeah, 
it's and the good thing about peer space is that especially like for that type of thing, it's only for a couple hours yep. as opposed to the whole night. Yep. And it's a lot more money because Bruh. it's like this is revolt, NBC, yeah. stuff yeah. like that and, is coming to pay. And you can have them come for two hours, Somebody NBC come, come for two, two hours. hours, CBS come for two hours. Yeah. It's not like, all right, cool, we're getting 500 for the night. Yeah. Like, nah, you can run this shit up. And then, too, the crazy thing is, so I ran out my main floor, I ran out my office space, I ran out my bathroom, all separate. <laughs> I can have three different things going on at the same time, getting three different bags, yeah. all from the same so house. So, peer space is more so... Airbnb is for people that want to come and stay the night and, yep. and live there for a day. Peer space is for people that want to do production. Yeah. And create or space, like host dinner like parties, rentals. meetings, yeah, stuff party, like yeah. that. Space yeah. Music video, yeah. Yeah. what we're doing we here. Just did, we, like did, we just, when we did our photo shoot, same thing. Yeah. Somebody's photo residential shoot. home, you got like five hours to do it. Yeah. Take the pictures, put everything back the same way. By the time they come home from work, you just made 500 to to $1,000 just coming on, Man, home on the train. Home. If you live in a city that has like a media presence, like New York, Chicago, Atlanta, LA. There's always stuff happening. Always stuff happening. Always something's happening. Whether it's a a production, a music video, a dinner. Man, something. I've had I've had so many YouTube like sensations come and do stuff in my crib. Like people with two million followers. I'm like, are you dude off of? Like, yeah, what up, fam? Like it just be like, you know, what I mean, it just be cool. Like the kind of people you interact with and come across. And then too, another thing about peer space. I feel like God put it in my life for me to be, you know, a testimony to a lot of the young guys. I get a lot of Chicago rappers that come there. Mm. So when they see me, they see me look like this. You know what I mean? Sometimes I might spark up a smoke or something or whatever. They be like, you own this? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's me. I'm like, I own the building in the front too. Like, bro, how? <laughs> I'm like, man, this the play. Go through the NACA program. All this money you flashing in this video. <laughs> like, like go many... put that shit in an account. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, build a relationship with a bank. Like, you know what I'm saying? They'll come in the house, they'll see, you know what I mean, the uh, CNBC, the stock market on that. Like, bro, you into this? Like, I, I know I look like y'all. <laughs> yes, but this is my lifestyle. Like, I buy, I buy property, I invest in the stock market, I start businesses. I'm like, this is my clothing brand. You have a clothing brand? Yes, bro. Like, I'm really out here, like, going crazy. All because of NACA. Like, I'm this rich, is, y'all. Like, 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 you feel me? Like, like, hum, like respectfully, humbly. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Whole time, like, yeah, y'all, and you can do the same thing and when i talk to these guys like this when i'm speaking their language and i'm speaking their lingo they like yo i want to be like you like i'm doing this shit That's representation is important. Yeah, they like i'm doing this whole time thinking this is the only way for me to get rich here you are you have thousands of people who follow you on instagram i'm, try I'm trying to do everything that you're doing in a saturated lane but here you are just flourishing in your own lane doing your thing I'm like yeah bro and like you like, said you're not, you're not compromising who you are as a person none of that all your safety none of that